I kind of loved that whole sort of 50s pin-up look. So I just added my own elements and it's a kind of little bit of everything. I model and I blog about plus size fashion. I love colours and the brighter or the busier the pattern, the better. I guess it just reflects every little tiny bit of me. Makeup, I guess, for me, started when I was at school, when I was the kind of token fat girl in my sort of clan of girls. And the easiest way that I found to kind of distract being, oh, that's Sam, you know, the fat one. It was, oh, that's Sam, you know, the one with the nose piercing. Or, oh, oh that's Sam, she's really crazy, she's got pink hair. To me, it, it made me feel a little bit more than just being that chubby, awkward teenager. I'm a stay-at-home mum to um, my toddler, who's three, and I have two teenage daughters, and I live with my husband. When I was 17, I constantly was pushing myself to make myself stand out that I wasn't just some sort of chavvy kid that, you know, was lumbered with a baby. And maybe I missed my youth a little bit. Maybe I had to grow up pretty quick. And it's still trying to come out in different ways. I don't want to get really old and go, oh, can you imagine it when I was younger if I had pink hair? I could actually say to my grandkids, oh, your, grand, your grandma was pretty wild. You know, she had piercings in her face, you know, tattoos here, there and everywhere, and her face was always colourful. And I, I love that. I don't, I don't want to get old and realise that I was boring. I wear makeup swimming, I wear it to the gym, full face to the gym. So I think if I don't put something on my face, I feel too naked and I feel exposed. I embrace being plus size. I guess it's showing other plus size women that you don't have to hide away. You don't have to wear black tents or you don't have to just have a small amount of makeup because you don't want to stand out. Do stand out.